I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. Baltimore police are now investigating a rash of car break-ins that span several neighborhoods. The burglaries were in neighborhoods like Fed Hill, Highland Town, Patterson Park. Some people have taken matters in their own hands. Neighbors in Federal Hill are looking into private security, while a two-time victim in Highland Town installed a camera system right outside her home. She also makes sure that her doors are always locked. The first thing that happened was I knew something was out of place and then you get kind of frustrated with yourself. You tell your husband, he kind of accused me of forgetting to uh, lock my doors and then you start to doubt yourself, you doubt your behavior and you forget that you're a victim. Well, anybody who has video surveillance, ring systems or tips, call Baltimore City Police, try to help them solve these crimes of break-ins. And there's a rise in COVID-19 cases among our young adults and the University of Maryland medical system is now hoping that a PSA will help stop the spread. Health experts say that they are reminding our young people to think twice before engaging in risky behavior. The CDC believes that the increase was likely due to the return of in-person college classes. Even though you might not be affected and you might be very minimally symptomatic, the big thing to keep in mind is that you can still be asymptomatic and carry this virus and subsequently transmit this virus to your more vulnerable, older loved ones, loved family members, and you don't want that burden. And the doctor we spoke to also said it's important to hold others accountable for wearing masks, washing hands, and continuing to social distance. Well, get outside, and enjoy some fresh air. All this month, Governor Larry Hogan issued a proclamation Thursday designated the month of October as Walktober, recognizing walking for its health benefits and means of transportation. Maryland named walking as the official state exercise back in October of 2008. This year's sixth annual Walk Maryland Day is next Wednesday. And groups are organizing walks all across the state with social distancing and face mask requirements. Not a bad day to get out and walk, Jamie, here. Temperatures will be a little bit chilly for the morning walk, but if you head out in the afternoon, things get a little bit better. We're in the upper 60s, and we're going to see more sunshine. It's going to start off cloudy as some of those early morning showers start to taper off. Daytime highs will climb into the mid to upper 60s. We're talking 67 at the harbor, 68 down in Annapolis, down to 66 in Elkton. Now, the seven-day forecast shows unseasonably cool temperatures remain a large part of the forecast. Check out your weekend forecast. 66 for your Saturday, up to 67 on Sunday rain chances moving in later on in the evening into your Monday cooler numbers for your Monday and then we're warming into the low 70s by Wednesday. All right, Patrick click with us online at WMAR 2 newscom for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go download the WMAR 2 news app in the app store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR 2 news update is sponsored by Jones Junction.